Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday morning. I hope you have all had a great week so far. Uh, today, I want to share with you guys just a little about our focus. It's kind of our theme for today. Now, the students have already seen me out here in one the garage in one of our uh, digital Sunday small group videos that we've done so far. Uh, but for the rest of you guys, this is my garage. Uh, I had to make sure and not show the messy parts uh, or else Adrian's going to be really, really mad at me. So we had some creative camera work here. Uh, this morning I was doing a little maintenance on my bike, just checking tires and checking cables. Um, we have been on our bikes a lot during this quarantine, guys, and it seems like we're not the only ones because there are hardly any bikes to be found for sale anywhere in Savannah, and we see people up and down the roads all the time, too. Now, I love to ride my bike. Um, back when I was at Clemson, actually, I used to ride four or five days a week. We actually used mountain biking as a Young Life outreach to some of the students that we worked with at Daniel High School, you know, and the best part was that some of the best trails in the upstate were right down the road from Clemson and then from Daniel High School as well. I even got to enter some competitive races during my time at Clemson. Didn't do all that great, but it was still a blast. As now, as my kids are starting to learn to ride and riding more, they're, they're learning some of the tricks that I picked up over the years in riding. Uh, one of the most important things is your focus. When riding a bike, especially when you're trail riding, you never want to look at your tires, right? You want to keep your eyes out front a little bit to anticipate what's coming in the trail so that you can make adjustments on your bike. You know, like what angle you're going to go at, where your pedals are raked at. Um, the most important part of that technique is to look where you want to go. Now, I know that sounds super simple, right? And it should be common sense to duh, look where you want to go. But the reality is quite different. Most of the time, newer riders, and sometimes us old ones too, we're going to see a hazard on the trail, a rock or a root or something like that, and we're getting so fixated on that hazard that instead of steering away from it, guys, we run right into it. It's like we're drawn to it by how much we're focusing on avoiding it. Now, when you watch the line that you want to take on the trail and don't fixate on the stuff that you want to miss... Honestly, you tend to have a better ride, and your bike is going to typically follow that line without you having to oversteer the whole way through the process. You know, as I thought about that, there's, there's such a spiritual truth to that concept. In life, when we get focused on the wrong things, we will typically find ourselves pursuing those things, and then just like on the trail, we're in a world of trouble. There's a passage that always comes to mind when I lose my focus. It's actually Matthew 6, 33. And here's what it says. It says, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. We've all heard that one before, right? Now Jesus is telling us to put our eyes on God instead of all the other things that are in the way. When we do this, God will provide all of our needs. You know, as you read that passage, Jesus references these things which makes us jump back in the context to see what things they were after. Now, the part just before this, Jesus was telling the crowd around him not to worry about what they were going to eat or what they were going to wear. You know, instead, keep your attention on what God was doing. The list of food and clothes is not limited to only those two things, right? We allow our focus to wander to plenty of other things in life. It might be a sport. It might be a career, it might be success, or any number of other things. And when we let our focus dwell on those things, guys, we tend to go towards them, right? Just like on the bike. But what we don't realize is that when we focus on those things, we are missing the good line that God wants us to take through that trail. The crazy part is that Jesus says all these things will be added to us. Now, we might have that great career or that awesome win on the sports field. We never know. But what we do know is that when we keep our eyes on God, He will, in His perfect knowledge, give us what we need. So guys, as you go through the rest of the week, make sure that your focus is in the right place. You know, don't look at all the obstacles or else the distractions, whichever they are, that the world's going to throw at you. Or else, you know what, you're going to run smack into those things just like you would on a bike. Instead, put your focus out front on God. And trust that as you push hard towards him or pedal hard towards him, he will take care of all those other things in your life. And that's such a freeing concept. And it's going to keep us on the trail in our lives spiritually, emotionally, and, and even physically, guys. I hope you'll have a great rest of your week. 
Don't forget to tune in over the next two days for some encouraging words from Jeremy and from Adam. And guys, again, just make sure that your focus is in the right place. I hope you have a fantastic day. Talk to you later.